Hi, this is Canadian folk musician Jesse Ferguson, and today I'm bringing you a video in my tutorial series on how to play common and popular Celtic and folk songs. So today's topic is Now Westland Winds by the Scottish songwriter and poet Robbie Burns. And the song is very simple, like many folk songs, and it involves only three chords, D, G, and A. Now I'm playing them with a capo, I'm still going to use those simplified uh, chord arrangements relative to the capo. So this is a finger picking song, which is the first one that I've covered on how to, uh, first song that involves finger picking that I've uh, given a tutorial for. So it's a more advanced technique. You may find it difficult. Um, if you've never learned finger picking, you may wish to uh, consult another video that gives information on how to do it, finger picking 101 or something like that. Now I do a very simplified version of finger picking that doesn't involve the pinky. I use only these fingers, um, so you may find that helpful as well. Um, so the pattern is, I'll play it for you quickly first. I will put the chords and the lyrics down in the description of this video so you can follow along with those. Um, I'll also post a link to my other video where I post the uh, play the whole song from start to finish so you can follow along with that. So I'll play the uh, the basic pattern for the song quickly now uh, at, at regular speed and then I'll slow it down for you and we can follow along together. So the pattern is, with finger picking, is that you use your thumb to hit the bass note of the chord. Every chord has a bass note. Um, so for the D chord, the bass note is the D string open. For G, the bass note is the E string on third position. And for A, it's the A string open. So. So you're plucking down with your thumb on the bass note. Uh, the other strings are plucked up. So it follows the anatomy of your hand, right? You're like as though you're grasping the strings. So you typically you would anchor your hand somewhere. Uh, usually I anchor it on the bridge, or else maybe even on the on the body of the guitar up here and pluck like so. But you have to anchor it somewhere, pretty much. Uh, you don't want to be pivoting from the wrist because it involves a fair bit of precision to know where your fingers are in relation to the strings. So I anchor it somewhere around. Um, so it looks like this. Bass note on the D. So again, down on the D, up on the, the G, up on the B, up on the E. That's the basic pattern for this whole this whole arrangement. not involved in any way except possibly at anchoring sometimes. Then the G is the same. Now sometimes when I play the bass note of the G I also pick the high E. So the, the thumb is getting the low E. The point the ring finger is getting the high E. But you're still the, the thing that you can't skimp on is the bass note. So on the A, it's the A. Now I do a little ornament on the A that you don't have to do if you don't want to, which is to slide your ring finger from the 2nd fret to the 3rd fret. And my, it's my middle finger that's plucking the B string in that case. You don't have to do that little embellishment if you don't want to. So let's go through that one more time. Notice that I leave off my middle finger that on the, on the second time around. So the first one, the middle finger is on the second position on the high E, the second fret. And the second time, I leave it off. It just makes a different variation of that chord.
And then I go up to the G, and I do what's called a hammer-on pull-off on the second position on the D string. So, open with your thumb. So that's the hammer-on. It's the hammer-on. To pull off, you have to grab it with the meat of your fingertip. You pluck down a little bit, but it's also, it's sort of digging in and up. You're plucking it, you're not just pulling down. So it's basically, uh, it's harder to describe. It's, well, I guess it's simple to describe too, but it's, it's t tricky to master at first. So you pluck once, but you're getting three notes. So, this is all just on the, on the D string and the A string. So first on the D, second position, second fret. Then with your, your uh, ring finger on the fourth position on the A string. Then open on the D again. Now if you can't get that, you don't have to do that for the song. I don't do that little ornament when I'm singing. That's only on the, on the breaks between the verses. So let's go through the, the first part of the verse. Now whistling winds and slaughtering guns Bring autumn's pleasant weather The moorcock springs on whirring wings Among the blooming heather Then it changes. Now waving grain wide o'er the plain Delights the weary farmer The moon shines bright when I rove at night To muse upon my charmer So what was that second part? So. So that's just a little ornament again on the A. It involves basically sliding the same finger up. So it's your ring finger. And it's all done with these three fingers. Your middle finger, your pointer finger, and your thumb. So these, so your thumb and your, your ring finger slide up together. Well, the, they don't slide. And your pointer finger does on the G string. That's the whole song basically. So if you want to follow along with my tutorial, uh, my, my version of it from start to finish, you can check that out. I'll post the link. You can follow along. Thanks for listening. If you have any requests for other tutorials, uh, feel free to put them down below if you have any questions about this one. Um, I hope you like it and thanks for listening. Bye.